Welcome to Metro Royale Rookie Manual. Today, we'll be introducing the Misty Port map. Misty Port was originally a small portside town with a pleasant climate, but a few incidents left it a desolate area that is now restricted. Only two major forces remain, competing for resources. Misty Port's main activity area is 1,700 by 900 square meters. It has rich and complex terrain, and although the urban resource points are scattered, there are many zip lines around the map connecting to the subway line, allowing you to get around quickly. Because of this, Misty Port's overall battle pace is quite fast and intense. The two boss spawn points act as gathering points for battles. Compared to other maps, Misty Port's underground isn't as dark and night vision equipment isn't as necessary. Although the subway line is very long and spans the entire map, those wanting to quickly collect supplies will have to go to the radiation zone, the mine warehouse. The mine warehouse is located in the upper right side of the map. Many mutated enemies lurk there, and the large warehouse lab at the center randomly spawns a mutant boss variant F who uses fire, or variant P who spews venom. These mutants guard the warehouse's valuable supplies. Compared to the two previous maps, the high value sellable items in Misty Port are more common. To quickly get these supplies, you can skip opening crates in the radiation zone and head to the three password locked doors instead. Obtain password letters of the corresponding colors to open them and obtain the loot within. There are two fixed bosses in Misty Port, Fire Joy and Fire Roy, that use fire attacks. When challenging them with teammates, spread out as much as possible. Also, be aware that there is chance in each match for the bosses to become reinforced. The bosses can then transform into special bosses that use drones and shields, Handsome Jesse or Handsome Pete. When facing off against them with teammates, make sure to focus your fire. Defeating these powerful enemies provides a chance to get better equipment. That's all for this intro to the Misty Port map. Go explore it yourself.